Hello, hello. Today I wanted to do a um, amplified planner flip um, of my finish April to June 2020. This is all filled up and this is my new one for July to September. I just want to really quick you, quickly show you like how thick it got with like the amount of stickers I use. And if you follow my stories at all, I use quite a bit of stickers. So this is what it looks like. Um, completely filled and this is the new one which I only had like one spread done so like it's not that bad I think it's the coil that helps it um, keep it light still anyways let me show you what it looks like put this aside so I didn't decorate the front it's very me to not do that <laughs> um, so if you are not familiar with the planner, um, they have some explanation of the layout, uh, the date for um, years and holidays, and I love that there's space to write down stuff. This is the special date, which I found really helpful because this is only a three month planner and it's a little bit hard to plan ahead um, if you don't have everything. And then the three month goal, which I didn't fill out. Anyways, this is April. The monthly spread, uh, weekly spread. I'm gonna um, flip very quickly because we have literally three months to get through. My daily planning um, style didn't really change, but my weekly. Um, it change quite a bit and there are so this is the weekly where I used to journal um, and there's a blank page for notes which I find really really helpful these are the more minimalistic <laughs> pages So this is where I started experimenting with like the hourly layout or converting the month, the horizontal weekly to a vertical monthly. I love how the regular girl sheet looks and this is kind of what it looks like. That's it. Um, what I love most is that, so this is the April to June, but they added the July monthly in the back, which is so helpful. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed the flip.